this video out with a Bible verse from the Old Testament where God spoke a lot to people. Now, Hosea fourth chapter through the sixth verse says, my people are destroyed from lack of knowledge. Because you have rejected knowledge, I also reject you. Because you ignore the law of God, I will ignore your children. A lot of these killers, drug dealers, uh, criminals, people that do evil, never do the will of God, and God will ignore their kids. When their kids are out there and they're suffering because of what their parents did, so it's up to you to do what's right. Let's start with that. And you need to know the difference between right and wrong. Clearly, you should know <laughs> what is right and what is wrong, what is good and what is evil. If you don't know, then you need to read your Bible or find some type of religion to find the difference between right and wrong. Now, at the point at hand, we have lost another rapper, uh, according to CNN. We all probably heard of this, but rapper Mo3 dies after being shot in broad daylight on I-35 in Dallas. Now, Mo3 was affiliated with uh, Boosie, or Lil Boosie for people that know him. And this year is not even over. We're Today is Saturday, November the 14th, uh, 2020 we still have like a month and some change left in this year and this young brother was 28 years old uh, melvin a noble is his uh government name according to the dallas police department they're investigating it so officers responded to a shooting on wednesday afternoon on interstate 35 in dallas the suspect described by police as an adult black male got out of his car approached noble while he was sitting in his car noble exited the vehicle and began running south on the freeway while the suspect chased him and fired multiple rounds at him according to the police now noble was struck multiple times before the suspect fled in a dark colored uh sedan now an innocent bystander who police says an adult male who was just sitting in his vehicle was also shot and taken to a local hospital with non-life-threatening injuries, police said. The suspect remains at large because of the no snitch clause uh, that's infamous in the hood. Nobody will help you if you get murdered in broad daylight. Now, Empire has lost a member of his family today, Dallas own Mo3. Empire Nobles label said in a statement, uh, we shared his horrible loss with Mo3's family team and fans, his infectious personality, and unrivaled talent brought joy and therapy to his legions of followers across the country. We can only hope to continue his legacy and push forth the same energy with Mo3, share it with the world, long live Mo3. Now his uh, first re album was titled Shot Us Reloaded in 2016 and since gone on to release five more albums. His latest album, Badass Mo3, came out this year. Now, I'll tell you this. If you think of all of the rappers is dead, just about, they talked about this. And this is a, a message to like all the rappers today, anybody that rap. You could speak life or death. Tupac talked about death all of the time, and he died. Biggie talked about a lot, death all the time. His first album, Ready to Die. Second album, Life After Death. You could speak this into existence these are facts. Now, if you look at the list of people who died this year, um, King Von, Huey, Pop Smoke, all would be considered um, either on that gangster level of rap or drug dealing of rap. Now, we also lost Nipsey Hussle, which changed the world in March 31st of uh, 2019. But all three of these rappers I just named have something in common. They were shot and killed, just like Mo3. And Nipsey spoke of death. Pop Smoke talked about death. The list goes on. Um, XXX Tentacion talked so much about death. He talked about selling his soul to the devil. He's dead. So many rappers that has passed have spoke about negative, negative things, and it caused them to bring it to existence if you speak about good things it will happen and i could be an example for that because all i speak is positive things into my life 
and I live right now, a positive life. There was a time in my life I spoke a lot of negative things and it brought those into existence. There are spirits out here that listen to you and you are in control with your tongue. That's why you see so many people, you know, when they realize that, oh wow, this is not just an entertainment. This, I'm really saying shit that might fuck with my life. Yeah, you go out here and you say you're gonna be a big time gangster and you did this, that, whoop, 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 this, that, and the third, somebody gonna come and check you, see if you about that life. Now, Mac Dre, Soldier Slim, all these guys that died, man, so many rappers that were shot and killed, Big L. I mean, the list goes on, bro. You can't think that you're gonna be able to live a life of a rapper today without saying something negative in your life and it won't come to get you, come to haunt you. I mean, I'm not saying you don't have to be a rapper. There's plenty of genres of rappers. You have gospel rappers, you have uh, positive rappers. You know, that was a time when you even had like, <laughs> I'm not talking about the Black Lives Matter, but we had a fight the power movement uh, with Public Enemy where they had a lot of black um, rappers that only rapped about positive stuff, changing the world. They didn't even curse. That's how talented they were. It's like today rappers can't even make a song without cursing because their mind is not capable of, uh, you know, <laughs> saying, some, saying something that doesn't involve a cuss word. Like that doesn't require um, a whole lot. It just requires peace within yourself and a lot of positive energy. But to say the least, we don't need to lose any more uh, young people, brothers, uh, or anybody, black, white, no matter what color you are, to senseless uh, violence involving music, you know, because this is a gate opener to a lot. But yeah, it's hard, man. Every time you see a rapper pass away and you got to report it, or you just heard this brother music, or you saw him on YouTube, and then you're talking about RIP mode three. You see what I'm saying? This is, it's not a good thing. Nobody wants to report that. And like I said, you got in 2020, so many people is out here just for a hustle, for the clout. Like when you see your favorite rapper or R&B singer on YouTube or your favorite uh, actor, <laughs> it's all about the bag. It was one time when YouTube was just here for up and coming uh, artists trying to showcase their skills or people that didn't have the exposure of people in Hollywood, and this would be their way of making a little extra change. And now you got everybody on here because it's a legit hustle and you can make a lot of money doing this. And in other words, they would tell you anything just to get your views. Uh, you would have people even change the way they look, say shit that's not facts just to get views. And so, Cause they're getting paid off of this. I'm not on here to garner money from anybody. I want you to live a prosperous life. I want you to be healthy and I also, we want you guys to understand that uh, there is good and evil. Don't let a lot of these people pro provoke you to say crazy stuff. And don't let them persuade you to follow them um, in a very negative path. And I hope that makes sense to you guys. R.I.P. Mo3.